there, it's Marlene from Image Maven Video, and this screencast is going to show you how you can take a DSLR video, which is high resolution, and in a screencast, you can make it look like you have jump cuts or that you've zoomed in and out of your picture. So here I am in Camtasia 2 for Mac, and I'm just going to drop a video clip onto my timeline. Now the first thing you want to do is go into Adjust Canvas. Now when you drop that video into your timeline, it might have a different canvas size. But what I usually pick is YouTube HD, so 720 pixels. So the, the canvas size is 1280 by 720. Your video itself is actually shot at 1920 by 1080 if you're using a DSLR video. So it's larger in resolution than the YouTube HD and this is where we can make uh, all those tricky adjustments. So when you got your canvas size, you apply, and then you go through your movie, and as you can see, my movie starts off where I'm in the middle of the frame. And I basically, if you look at this whole movie, it's just one take, okay? Actually, I might turn down the volume just in case. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. So it's just one take, and I'm in the middle of the whole way. So how you do this is you go part way, and you hit the command T button so you go where you want to break command T and that splits your clips okay so you can see that this clip is now two pieces so the first piece I can leave it at the normal size and then the second piece let's just say for fun I want to re uh, make it bigger so I'm going to increase my size only thing is up here on your scale don't go over 100% otherwise your video is going to get really soft so then I can move myself see I've got a lot of room you know as long as I don't go into the black so I just move my head around maybe do there and I can put some text on the right side of the frame and I go along my merry way and let's say this is a natural place in my uh, in my video where there's a, a split so I do command T split it again your highlighted clip and perhaps I will switch it up so I can move myself to the other side of the frame. So here you see that I went from this side of the frame to this side of the frame. And that's a jump cut. Now you can also add transitions and things like that. So let's say I'm here, Command T, and I'm going to click this one. I'm going to go into, uh, let's go into an animation, and we're going to scale to fit. So I click that. I add it in, and then when you go over okay. that, whoops, sorry, let me just get rid of the volume here. And by the way, it's easiest to adjust your volume right out of the gate. Okay, so my volume is down on those two clips. So watch what happens. So we're going from one clip where I'm at the side and I'm at 100%. And then in the next clip, I have an animation which makes me fit. So I'm zooming right in Camtasia, which is the sweetest thing because it's really hard to zoom uh, your DSLR lens without making it jerky. Okay, it's really hard to zoom it because lens barrels can be a little bit tight or even a little bit loose and it's really hard to get a smooth zoom. But using an animation, it's really easy. All right, I hope that helps you with your Camtasia editing of your DSLR video or any video that's high resolution. If you have a camcorder video, that would work too. The only thing is that my camcorder video doesn't import into Camtasia, so, uh, but my DSLR video does. Okay, hope that helps, and we'll talk to you on the other side. Take care.